Green Bay is 42 and 11 when Aaron Rodgers throws fewer than 30 times. Mm. They're 56 and 41 when they ask Aaron to throw over 30, meaning coaching matters. Even Aaron Rodgers needs running game support. Yeah. Like he's got Aaron Jones now. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Now they, Aaron Jones is just as valuable as Aaron Rodgers in that offense. Yeah. Yeah, but they're going to say we need someone like Aaron Jones, and we haven't had that. So we can't run the ball, so we got to throw the football, yada, yada. But uh, I think it goes back to coaching. I, I think never more have I ever seen the NFL cross the board how important coaching is. Coaching has really popped this year and really made teams great this year. And I think you look around the league, the teams that are innovative and creative and doing the reverses. You look at Atlanta. You look at Kansas City. You look at uh, the Saints, who's been doing that for years. Uh, and then the teams that don't do that. I think Jason Garrett down there with the Cowboys. It's just boring football. I think those, those teams, you, you, you can't win like that, especially where the rules are set up this year. And coaching has become more important than ever for these teams to have success. You know, Philadelphia is not the same team. Some of it is injuries, but uh, you you have a line. You always say, ego has no amigo. Meaning, uh, in, and that's difficult in football because when you win, what happens? Well, when you, you have success, any type of success. I don't care when you're winning, when you're doing well, your show, whatever it is. Like people, you know, when, when you fail, that's when you start to look yourself in the mirror and you say, okay, we got to do better. We got to go get it. Yeah. But when you win, uh, Michael Strahan had a great line. He um, he said that when people win the Super Bowl, the next year they come back, they think the reason they won the Super Bowl is because of me. And you see guys change. You see that, you know, they go from driving that Jeep to driving that that nice Ferrari now. They got the Mercedes. They go from wearing sweats to now they're wearing the Versace, 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 you know, and the hats and the designer hats. And success is tough. Uh, it really, really is because it makes you lazy. It makes you say, you know what, I'm going to go out. They got people telling me how great I am now, and I don't have to work as hard. I've already shown I can do it. Uh, you just you, you lose that hunger, that drive. Football does not become – it's not the most important thing in your life anymore. It's, it's what football gave you now that you become attracted to, which is, which is a tough road to get down. What would you make of Dallas's win last night? Well, I thought, I thought they, they looked better. You can't lie and say they don't look better. I think offensively, uh, Amari Cooper is really, really going to help them. But to me, they're still the, it's still the Cowboys. I'm not going to say they're a great football team after one game. I still think Dak – uh, has to prove that he can he can put back to back to back games together if you're going to pay him that twenty five million dollar check a year. But bottom line is, that, to me, they were good last night because they ran the ball. Yeah, get the ball to that guy. Ezekiel Elliott is so good. I mean, when he's going, he arguably he's the best running back in the league. Six yards a carry last yeah. night. Yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast. Feed him the ball. That's where this offense should go. And then you can dink because that's where that offense used to be. It was that dink and donk with Dez. Uh, with, with Beasley, Jason Witten, Jason Witten, blanket. security. They don't have that anymore. Those guys don't exist in that offense, and they're not. It's not creative either. I, it, it's not a terribly creative offense. I don't think so. You know, I, I just, I think you really hit it. Uh, coaching has popped in the NFL. It's just popped. It used to be important. Now it's everything. The, basically, it's like having an accountant and all the tax laws changed, and the tax laws now are all about write-offs. Well, you better have an accountant that understands all the write-offs yeah. because the NFL now is not allowing you to be great defensively. The, the catch rule, how many catches did I see yesterday that were borderline and they just gave them? Yeah. A year ago, all those are taken away. Yeah. Now it's just give the offense the yard. Nelson Aguilar late for Philadelphia. Looks like it hits the ground. I just did. There was a t- I'm having it. I just, Okay, so I got to show something. Um, <laughs> yesterday, uh, all you guys went out to Fort Benning, uh, Georgia, uh, for Veterans Day celebration, and you told me you were kind of nervous about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is this is I have this fi- footage is going to be great. Just hold on, don't run it yet. That you told me that you were very nervous, but you thought you would jump out of an airplane with military personnel this week. Yes, yes. Okay, hey. you did. I did. Okay. So before we get to the video, don't roll the video yet. Uh, were you nervous? <laughs> yeah. Nervous. Uh, scared. You were scared. Absolutely scared. Uh, heart was pounding. And it, and it got worse. What do you mean? The, the higher we kept going up. And you, you know, they give you all that training before you jump out. Right. And then they get up there and then you're going. We're at 13,500 feet. And then I'll, and I'm the first one out the plane. Oh, you are? Yeah. I went before Chris and before Spoon, uh, our producer Spoon. And they go, they open up the window and you look out the window and you're like, oh my God, this, this is real. <laughs> this is about to happen. I'm about to jump out of a plane. All right. Let's show the videotape and talk mm-hmm. over it. 
<laughs> so, so this is, you know, we're walking out to the, uh, to, to the plane about to go up. And the nerves that's going on in your mind right there. See, so you ask, I'm a little nervous. But when, when you jump, though, the way I decided to do this, and it reminded me of football. I could tie this back in with football, is I, I, I made a choice. I was like, I can be scared all the way down. Or as soon as I jump, there's only two scenarios now that are going to happen. I, I'm either going to die <laughs> or I'm going to live. That's the only two things that can happen. So I said, I'm going to live. The, I'm going to be fearless and I'm going to enjoy. I enjoyed every second. The hardest part was, was jumping out the plane. But once that happened, that free fall for 46 seconds going 145 miles per hour what does it was feel exhilarating. Like? What does it feel like? Oh, it's the best thing you've ever done in the your life. The first 10 seconds. The first 10 seconds. That's, th- that is the, the most nervous your heart is going. But it, as soon as I let go and said, I'm going to enjoy this, it was, it was the best thing. I highly encourage you. Like I said, it reminds me of football when you, when you decide to finally go over the middle without being afraid. When you decide to, to block somebody or, or if you're a linebacker, take on that fullback coming. It's just that, it's that, ah, I got this. And I can do this. I got down to the to the ground. I felt like break dancing. I mean, it was, yeah, it was such did it a good too. feeling. Yeah, Krista did it too, and she did awesome. Uh, it was no, I, I wouldn't do it. it. I have, I have you got to do it. Why wouldn't you do this? It's but, a hard pass for me, also. Why Why wouldn't you guys do this? If I just told uh, you, the I, I've feeling been through enough in my life. I I don't need more thrills. Well, first of all, Tony, I think you summed up why I wouldn't do it. Joy, did you hear him say there's two options? One of them is right. death. <laughs> right. <laughs> that right. kind of sums up why I wouldn't right. do it, Tony. Which is my but, point. Taste. Plus, there, I mean, there is a third option where, you know, you land funny and, you, you know, you break both your uh, legs. Well, I mean, yeah. that's a good no, option. That's a great too. option. Well, you taste death, live life. That's a good motto you know, to go by. Go I, through your fears, Colin. You I can do it. Pizza, I'll like it or I'll throw it in the garbage. There's no death as an option. I want to taste pizza. You want to taste death. I want to <laughs> taste pizza. You know, but you are you're boring. You're I'm not boring. boring. Yeah, you are. You're boring. Well, 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 you got to get out there. You got to go after the things that make you scared. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.